Well, elevate your cooking game with some new sauces that'll bring a little extra flavor to your daily meals. Tina's standing by with Miss Bambi Porter from the Gypsy Cowgirl Kitchen. That's ID. right. Good morning, Bambi. Good morning. Good Love to be the here. hat. Thank you. I always got to zhuzh up my look, right? There you go. Zhuzh it up. <laughs> All right. So you're the queen of the canning business and, you know, always teaching great, uh, teaching people great with great classes there. So what's uh, on the mm -hmm. schedule for today? Okay, so what we're talking about today is making your own spice, spice blends. Oh. And maybe even making your own spices and herbs um, to have, to preserve them, to have in your um, cabinet okay. for use, you know, all year long. So for me, I've been freezing tomatoes uh, all summer long and I'm getting ready to um, do some canning and I'm going to be making some Italian uh, spiced sauce, tomato sauce. Yummy. So I need to make, yeah, I need to make the spice blend that's going to go into these to this tomato sauce. Okay. So, so easy to do, especially if you are growing your own um, herbs and um, some spices. So what I'm going to do today, I always use Redmond salt as my base. Um, and the reason is it's full, chock full of minerals. It hasn't been stripped down. It's just good salt and it's produced um, here in the U.S. Okay. So um, my first ingredient is going to be about two and a half tablespoons of um, Redmond salt. Okay. And then I'm going to use some um, uh, two tablespoons of oregano and two tablespoons of garlic powder. And by the way, this garlic I grew, I dehydrated, and then I um, pulsed it in my um, little food grinder. I'm also going to add some oregano, two tablespoons, and also we're going to add some rosemary. All of this I grew. I love Isn't that it. Fantastic. Love it. I know. I know. So then what I'm going to do is I got all situated in a jar. Okay. And I'm going to use my little pounder here and I'm just going to make sure that all of the herbs are broken down real nice and um, just, you know, make sure that it's blended together really nice. Put the lid on it and then I'll give it a good shake. Now, How long does it one last? Thing that you oh, my friend, this will keep <laughs> um, at least for a year. At really? Least use okay. It, um, yeah, yeah. Use it and um, put it on your shelf and mark it um, what's inside and when you made your spice blend. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is once I get all of my tomatoes. Okay. You got about 15 seconds. And believe you, I, okay, I got lots of bags of this. I'm gonna cook this down, add these spices. I'm gonna can it and I'm gonna have gorgeous Italian tomato sauce for the rest of the year until tomato sauce season oh, next year. I so. love that, okay. We have oh, a whole bunch of spices Bada too. Boom. And, you know, sometimes I think of drying yeah. them and then saving them. I go, well, how long is it going to last? Well, now I know. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, we'll now talk to you in just you know. a little bit. Now you know. Sounds good. Gypsy Cow Girl Kitchen. She's on Instagram.